So a trade has happened. Um, you know, not an earth shattering one, not a blockbuster, but still a big name on the move. Uh, former first round pick Nikhil Harry traded to the Bears for a seventh round pick. So seventh round picks tend to be used for like special teams guys, which hey, Patriots love some special teams guys. So there's some value there, but not much. I mean, this is very much a we're getting rid of him. We don't want him. I'm assuming they were going to cut him uh, if it wasn't for this move. And from the Bears perspective, it's interesting, right? Again, there still is some hope with Nikhil Harry. There still was some stuff that he did well in college that I, I liked. You know, I thought Nikhil Harry was going to work. I, I was with Bill, Bill Belichick when, it was, when he was drafted. I missed on that as well. Wide receivers are notoriously difficult to draft. So a lot of people are going to make fun of the Patriots and look at all the good wide receivers that were drafted after him, such as Debo Samuel and A.J. Brown. So uh, from that perspective, certainly not great. But, uh, you know, again, uh, we can talk about that on a second. Back to the Bears for a second. Currently, their depth chart uh, with the wide receiving core is Darnell Mooney, who I like. I'm not sure if I am in love with, but I like him. Uh, you then have Equimania St. Brown, who's mostly just a depth guy. Byron Pringle, who's mostly just a depth guy. You have Dante Pettis, who was okay for San Francisco for like a solid number three guy. But my issue with that is, is he going to be a, uh, you know, is that more of just a product of the system, which it probably is? And then Velas Jones, who they drafted in the third round. They just need more guys in the room. And why not take a chance on Nikhil Harry? There's some value here. Um, but, you know, going back to the, the Bill Belichick missed draft pick, I know it's very fun to clown on Bill Belichick. Everyone likes to see, you know, the greats fall. That's part of the fun of sports, right? But you got to just think about it from a different perspective of like, it's just hard to draft wide receivers in the first round, which is why typically they don't do it too often. And historically, they haven't done it too often. Uh, and really, they have a lot of guys in the room. So it kind of makes some sense to just get some value out of it, accept the fact that it's a loss and move on. Because again, their depth chart, you have Kendrick Bourne, Jacoby Myers, Devontae Parker, uh, who are all guys that can do what they can do well. Aguilar is interesting. He's been very up and down, but we have seen some potential from him. They also drafted Tyquan Thornton in round two, who they're very high on. And you have Ty Montgomery, who is kind of, you know, he's played halfback, but they might want him to play wide receiver as well. But he can play two positions, so that makes for good depth when you can play multiple positions. They have Lil Jordan Humphrey as well. So it's like they have a lot of guys in the room. They had to get rid of some guys, just get some value back better than cutting him. So again, not exactly a league shattering move, but still something I want to talk about because it is kind of an interesting, you know, an end of an error, I guess, for New England as uh, in hindsight, maybe having Debo Samuel would have gone better for them. Uh, but again, it's very easy to say that in hindsight, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's always more difficult doing it in the moment, especially with wide receivers who very difficult to project. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.